Hey everyone, welcome back to Solid Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a cinematic trailer using Filmora 14. Let's get started. To create this cinematic trailer, we'll need about 18 video clips, a title background, a title font, and some background music. And you can download them for free using the link in the description below. First things first, I'll drag and drop the music onto the timeline. Let's give it a listen and see how it sounds. Next, I'll manually detect the beats in the music. For each beat, I'll add a marker. Now let's listen to the track with the markers and make sure they're placed exactly on the beat. Looks good, all the markers are perfectly in sync. Now, let's start building the cinematic trailer. First, I'll add the title background video to the timeline. Split it according to the beat markers of the music. Then, in the track above it, I'll add some text. Split it according to the beat markers of the music. To edit the text, just double click on it. I'm going to change the text size to 48. And for the font, I'll use 28 days later, which you can find in the description along with all the other assets. I'll center the text on the screen. Then change the text to say cinematic trailer. Next, I'll go into the text's advanced settings. Under the presets section, I'll scroll down and choose a preset style. Then, I'll head over to the animation section and, and apply the center gradually appear effect. I'll set the animation duration to 1.15 seconds and adjust the text spacing to 12. Once I'm happy with the settings, I'll hit apply.
Now, let's move on to editing the videos on the timeline. For each video clip, split it according to the beat markers of the music, just like this. When it's time to add a new title, simply duplicate the existing cinematic trailer title. You can do this quickly by holding down ALT and dragging the title with your left mouse button. Next, split the title at the next beat mark and delete the extra part. Double click the title to edit the text, and change it to something new. Then, go ahead and edit your video clips the same way, split them on the beat markers of the music. I'll quickly adjust all the video clips and titles to match the music beats. And don't forget to edit the text in each of your titles. Now, to add a fade transition between the last two titles, go to the Transitions tab and search for the fade effect. Drag and drop it between the two titles, then set the duration to your liking. In some parts of the trailer, I want to add a black flash effect to match the music. To do this, head to the Effects tab and search for the black flash effect. Drag and drop it onto the clip where you want the flash. This is how it looks with the music. I'll also apply the same black flash effect to the second clip just by dragging and dropping it there as well. The next effect I need is the vignette radius. I'll drag and drop it to a track above the timeline, then double click on it to adjust the settings. I'll set the radius to 90. Increase the effect's length, and apply it to all the clips in the trailer. Remember, this effect needs to be placed on the top track. And that's it. After all the edits, our perfect cinematic trailer is now ready to go. Now let's take a look at the final preview of the cinematic trailer. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.